Hi team, we're going to look at polygons today, regular polygons. So a regular polygon is a closed shape that has equal sides and equal angles. A three-sided polygon, a regular polygon is an equilateral triangle. A four-sided polygon, regular polygon would we say is a square. And a five-sided regular polygon would be a, a pentagon. Clo shapes that aren't closed are not polygons. And if it has different sides and angles, it's a polygon, it's just not regular. The polygon problem. Number four. Use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. The polygon shown above is regular. What is the sum of the angles x and y? The first one goes like this. The sum of the angles inside a triangle, the sum of those interior angles, whatever they are, whatever the combination is, they always add up to 180 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of any three-sided polygon or triangle add up to 180 degrees. The second math fact, if you have a straight line, by the way, a straight line we sometimes consider a straight angle, straight line, straight angle, because a straight angle is made up of 180 degrees. So any line, if you think about it, it's a semicircle, it's made up of 180 degrees. You could think of a line as a straight angle always having 180 degrees. But this math fact says that when you have a line and you, you break that line into two angles, meaning an angle here and another angle here that forms a straight line. So that means these two angles add up to 180 degrees. Or we could say, you know, A plus B, A plus B would equal 180 degrees. Like, for example, uh, 60 and 120 equal 180. We call these supplementary angles. And we're going to use this idea that supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees and the inside angles of a triangle all add up to 180 degrees to help us solve this problem. I know you're saying, why do we just take a minute 50 to do that? Because this is the core math behind solving the problem that we're about to do. So let me erase and solve. We have a five-sided regular polygon. And we're asked to find out what x and y is. Now, I know that this, these angles are all the same. And the thing is, if I knew what box is, I could use that rule of supplementary angles to find out what x is, and vice versa for y. Ah, so at least I could use the first rule, I mean the second rule. But the thing is, I've got to figure out what each one of these boxes are. How am I going to do that? But you can take any, I'm just going to erase this, these boxes here. You can take any polygon. And if I want to find out how much the total amount of angles are, there's a formula you could use, but we're not going to use the formula. We're going to first just use basic math. This polygon here could be divided into one, two, and three triangles. Fair enough. Each one of those triangles the inside angles add up to 180 degrees. That's pretty fair. So what we could say is all the angles, if we added up all the degrees in all the triangles in this five-sided polygon, we could say that this five-sided polygon is made up of the sum of all these angles, or 540 degrees. So the inside angles of a five-sided five polygon are add up to 540. Now our original question is, what do, is one of these angles? How would I solve that? Come on now, I can tell you the answer, but I want you to think about it. I know the total angles added up all together in this five-sided polygon are 540. What would one of them be? Okay, you got the answer, right? You're going to take 540, you're going to divide it by 5. You're going to do the math very carefully. 0, 
four. It doesn't go into the four. Drop down another zero, it goes in there. So each one of these angles, each one of these boxes is 108 degrees. Same with this one here because it's a regular polygon. Now I'm going to use that second fact about supplementary angles. What angle added to 108 degrees equals 180? Let's see. 180 equals x plus 108. What could x be? This is where you got to be very careful. You got to do the subtraction. I could do it for you, but guess what? You wouldn't get the practice. I want you to try and take a moment. I want you to do this, get used to it, get the practice. There's no point in me just saying the answer really quickly. Um, 72. All right, so x is, x is 72. I think it makes sense that the sup, if we're looking for the supplement of 108, and that's going to be 72, the supplement of 108 is also going to be 72. So when we have this question here, x plus y, it's really saying what 72, 72 plus 72, 72 is, which plus is 72, which equals 144 degrees. There are two ways to find out the sum of the angles in a uh, polygon, the interior angles of a polygon. First, you could remember that a triangle always adds up to 180 degrees. So this one has one triangle. A square could be thought of as two triangles, which would mean a square's angles add up to 360 degrees. A polygon, three triangles, which would be 540 so on and so on and so on. You could use the triangle method to find out the sum of the interior angles of a triangle. Or you could use a formula. The formula goes like this. Whatever the number of the sides are, whatever that number of, I'm sorry, number of sides or angles, I take that, I minus two from it, put that over here, and then I multiply that by 180. So if this was a triangle, we could say, well, a triangle has three angles. I subtract, or three sides, I subtract the uh, two from it, I'm going to get one. One times 180 gets me the sum of those angles inside that polygon. Now here's the cool thing about that. Just like in these right here, like with this polygon problem, I had the 540, I wanted to find out what, what one of these angles are. That would mean I would divide this by five to get the 108. In this formula here, all I need to do, I use the same formula to find the total sum of all those angles in the polygon, and then I divide it by the number of angles that I'm looking for, and that's going to help me find out what, that, what each one of those regular angles is in the polygon. So you could do the formula, or you could do the triangle method. I think you should try both. I actually like the triangle method, personally, because on the day of the test, you're under a lot of pressure, and sometimes you forget, you can't hold on to the formulas as well. However, if you like formulas, you love formulas, you know formulas, learn the formula. Save yourself some time. Okay, everyone. Good luck. Keep on sending your questions. Take care. This is Chris from GoMath.com. Be happy to help. Thank you. X plus Y, it's really saying what 72 plus 72 is, which is 144! <laughs> I'm going to keep that in the video. Alright, the answer is 144. How do you like that?